I often think about the beer I drank when I was younger I used to think that Cooper's Bay Ale Ale was the beer for me But then I felt my taste buds changed My interest in craft beer gained I thought that it would not be so But then you turned into just another brewery that I used to know But now we've got the hazy IPA It's limited edition and to that I say hooray We've got the hazy IPA It's got a pretty can and the flavour's okay We've got the hazy IPA And to that I say Coopers it's about time We've got the hazy IPA And now you are a brewery that I'm glad to know A brewery now you are a brewery that I like to know, a brewery. Now you are a brewery that I'm glad to know. Now you are a brewery that I'm glad to know. Hey guys, welcome to another beer review. You might have guessed it from this intro. We're going back to an old favourite. Coopers have released a new beer, their Hazy IPA. The beautiful can has inspired the makeup and the performance that you've just seen. So let's jump into it. Coopers Hazy IPA, the new limited edition beer from Coopers. I will say I love the artwork. It's very summery, it's very Australian, it's very pink. I'm excited ladies and gents. This limited edition full flavoured ale is characterised by a blend of exotic hops which feature citrus notes of mandarin, tangerine, grapefruit and orange. True to style, our hazy IPA delivers full mouthfeel while our traditional form of ale brewing and natural conditioning maintains Cooper's uniquely distinctive flavour. Malt, Cooper's Pale, Hops, Artanum and Strata, IBU of 27, and a nice potent 6.2%, so a, a 1.8 standard drinks. It's a beautiful, beautiful colour. Very hazy. Hazier than the Mountain Goat Hazy Pale Ale that I had the other day. It looks bloody delicious. It's got a full rocky head, as you'd expect from Coopers, because they, they do do things the right way when it comes to brewing. Give it a bit of a smell. Very citrusy. Does smell a little bit like grapefruit and mandarin. I've no idea what tangerine smells like, but I'm sure it smells like that too. You can see the head there. It's rocky, big bubbles, small bubbles. That usually means that it's it's been brewed properly. Mmm. Yep, that's that's surprising from Coopers. This is really nice. You can definitely tell that it's a Cooper's beer. That traditional Cooper's pale ale base and the Cooper's malts, you just, you could spot them from a mile away. They're so distinct compared to other forms of pale ale. It's a real iconic Australian pale ale, I guess you could call it. But then on top of that, all of the hops, I don't know whether it was, was pre-hopped and potentially had some dry hopping at the end as well, because they've brought an awesome amount of hoppy flavor to this beer. I'll tell you what, it's quite bold. I know that a lot of people that are into XPAs, summer ales, and some of the other hazies on the market might go, ooh, that's a, it's a lot heavier and a lot stronger, more potent flavor than some of the other ones on the market, but I really like it. Part of me is a little bit disappointed that it follows that traditional Cooper's line and is so similar to the Cooper's Pale Ale and the, the XPA. But I guess that's what makes it distinctly Coopers and I guess you can't begrudge them for continuing to do something that they've done well for 160 years or thereabouts. As I mentioned in the song earlier, I was a Coopers fan for a long time. The Coopers Pale Ale was probably one of the first beers that I loved. But as my taste for craft beer sort of developed, I started to seek things a bit more interesting, a bit more fruity, a lot more hoppy flavours. And it took a long time for Coopers to get on the bandwagon. Uh, they released the Session Ale, which I really liked. Then they released the XPA, which I was super excited about. 
but it sort of disappointed me. This is a big improvement on that XPA. It's similar in some ways, but I like it a lot more. And it's great to see them move into something different for the, for the can art than just a flat primary color. I hope they have a few more limited editions to come. Everyone knows that I'm not a fan of the four pack. So I picked this four pack up for $20. At first I thought $20 for a four pack, Cooper's going down the path of all the modern craft breweries and just giving us a bit of a lend. But once you taste the beer and when you know what kind of quality hops it's got in it, you can appreciate the fact that this beer would have been a bit more expensive to make. I'd rather pay 26 bucks for a six pack. It's just not on. It's two less beers that I've got in my fridge and I'm really enjoying this, so that's no good. Mm. What are we going to give it? The taste definitely grows on me. The more I went through that beer, the more I started to like it and appreciate the fact that it had that traditional Cooper's base, which I loved from my younger days. We're going to give this bad boy 7.7 .7 out of 10. It is, it is tough sometimes to step out of your comfort zone. They've done that and they've done a damn good job. I applaud Cooper's for moving into the future, a future of equality and delicious craft beer. As always, like, comment, subscribe, it really helps. Share it with all your friends. Go down to the bottle shop, grab a four pack of Cooper's IPA. Let me know what you think. Cooper's, if you see this video, let me know. If you've got any new limited edition releases, I'd love to do another video. Any other breweries out there, hit me up. Stay safe and I'll see you next time. I often think about the beer I drank when I was younger I used to think that Cooper's Pale Ale was the beer for me But then I felt my taste buds changed My interest in craft beer gained I thought that it would not be so But then you turned into just another brewery that I used to know But now we've got the hazy IPA It's limited edition and to that I say hooray 